Find the equation of the line that is parallel to y equals 4x plus 1 and passes through the point 1 comma 6. Since we have a point and we have a slope, we'll use the point slope formula. Now, I said we have a slope, but it's not given explicitly here. It's given implicitly when we are told that this line should be parallel to the line y equals 4x plus 1. Parallel means they run side by side and never cross, which means they have to have the exact same rise over run, the same slope. So the slope of this line is 4. So we're going to just write that down here. The slope of the line we're looking for is going to have the slope of 4. And this line is also going to pass through the point 1, 6. So with a slope of 4, and the point 1 comma 6, what we have is a point and a slope. So we should use the point slope formula. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So we're just going to come in and plug in the items that we have. We have a y value of 6. We have a slope of 4, and we have an x value of 1, and that is it. Now, that is the equation of the line, but you're often asked to give the final answer in either standard form or in slope-intercept form. So let's take this answer and also consider what it would look like in those two other commonly requested forms. So standard form, also known as general form, is ax plus by equals c. And this is where a is positive, and there are no fractions or decimals anywhere. So to get the equation of the line to look like that, we'll take what we have so far and we'll just simplify it with y minus 6 equals 4. I'm going to go ahead and distribute here. 4x minus 4. To get this in standard form, I need my x term and my y term to be together. I also want the coefficient of x to be positive. So it's going to make more sense for me to move the y term over to the side where x is. That way x doesn't have to change sides and, and therefore change signs. So now we'll zero that out. So now we have negative 6 equals 4x minus y minus 4. And we wanted all the constants to be together on one side. So let's now add this 4 over here the zeros out and so then we have our new version negative 2 is equal to 4x minus y and this is almost perfect but we usually like to see the 4x minus y on the left side and there's no problem with rewriting it that way since the equal sign goes both ways so we can just finalize this as 4x minus y equals negative 2. So that's the answer in standard form. Now let's also come from, let's come from the simplified step here and see how we could turn that into slope form or slope intercept form. So as I said, another form that you might be asked to use is slope intercept form for your final answer. So coming from where we left off when we simplified our point slope form by distributing the 4, now we want to get y alone. So it's very easy for us to just add 6 to both sides here, zero this out, bring down the y, bring down the 4x, combine like terms here, negative 4 plus 6 is positive 2, 
So that would be the answer in slope-intercept form.